I will now show you what I did with uh, what I could sell from the big uh, desert rose that I lost. So maybe I should say not everything was lost because I managed to get about 18 reasonable small branches uh, some a little bit big uh, and uh, well I'll still remember when I look at them I'll still remember my desert rose so what I have here are the branches that I, I cut from the big desert rose so when I, I thought about it on the good side I lost one big one but I've gained over 18 reasonably uh, desert roses I do hope they make it apart from this uh, this size I also had smaller smaller ones that I have planted and I hope that they will take root so in all in all I could say maybe I got um, out of that one I got maybe 30 pieces and I think um, percentage wise I hope to get at least 80 percent will grow into nice desert roses I know that I'm likely to, to lose some I don't think I'll be able to get 100 percent so please if you've got uh, desert roses or if you plan to put uh, desert roses in the ground make sure that you check on them try not to put them uh, near the lawn or near other plants that require more water than the desert roses and when you do plant make sure at the bottom you put a lot of stones or a lot of rocks that way the water will filter much faster um, I want to show you uh, one other desert rose which I had in the ground and uh, I also nearly lost this one um, but uh, luckily enough I was able to uh, see the danger when the part of the um, part of the root started uh, getting soft the best way to check your desert roses is to physically touch the trunk or the exposed roots to make sure that they are firm always there are times like uh, when you've um, when it needs water it may be a little bit tender and you see that it's shrinking uh, then you know that it needs water in fact most of the time what happens when, when if you haven't watered your desert rose for a long time and this happens even in nature especially with the baobab uh, uh, the baobab trees they start to, sh to shrink and then you get a gap between here you find that uh, there's um, some kind of uh, gap between the uh, the trunk of the uh, the baobab and uh, the saw it's like it's uh, shrinking and you not as soon as it starts raining then it fills out that gap is uh, is filled it's like it expands so it's the same thing with the uh, desert roses uh, if you deprive them of water they also start to shrink they even they may even get folds but those folds will start to fill out immediately you start watering the uh, the desert rose the other thing i wanted you to see is um, that like most trees they tend to heal themselves to save this one um, or rather to save this root because this one if you want you can remove it in fact what happens is that um, some roots will rot and then new roots may start forming 
but when uh, you go overboard with watering that's when you lose in the entire plant but if you spot one root rotting I would advise that you take it out of the ground and make sure you cut off all the bits that rot that is rotten sometimes the color is black sometimes it's brown so you make sure that um, you cut off the rotten bit and then you wash it thoroughly put it in the in the shade to dry before you you put it in the shade to dry you must apply either cinnamon or activated charcoal or even the fungicide depending on how big um, uh, or how many roots are rotten if it's just one root you can use cinnamon but I find that if it's many roots it's faster if you use um, the fungicide and you use a brush so the important thing to remember is that the entire rotten bits have to be removed cleaned you remove um, the sap and then apply fungicide you apply cinnamon or whatever your choice or your preference is